Hey guys, it's Annie. Happy Memorial Day. And I am on the farm. And today I noticed that uh, something with the bees and I am going to go and check it out. And I figured I'd bring you all along. The more eyes that see it, the more eyes can figure out what's going on. So <clears throat> I came out earlier to hang my laundry and I noticed that the nuke box that the bees came in, um, it was still sitting in front of the hive so that any of the extra bees that were still hanging around in there could go right into the new big hive. And when we went to move it, there was still a lot of bees in there. So we put it up in our swarm, our swarm, uh, what do you call that? Stand. Swarm stand. We just came up with that. And um, since we did that, and I have to suit up here, so hold on one second. Since we did that... And since we did that, I've noticed that there is a small cluster of bees directly in the left side of the entrance. And I wasn't really concerned about it at first. They seem really docile and really calm. They're not freaking out. And I went and visited my dad and he mentioned that possibly the queen could be in there. And I was like, huh, well, when I took out the frames, I took them out two at a time. So hopefully the queen was not even exposed to you know, the outside for very long. But then it got me thinking, what if the queen is in there? And uh, they've decided to make that their new house. So uh, I just talked to Nathan about it and we have decided that we are going to take the nuke box that's on the swarm stand with the bees that are left in it and we're going to open up the hive and dump those bees in really quick because in case the queen is in there, um, I want her to go into the hive uh, and know that she's in there and that these bees are in there uh, without damaging her too much. And a quick shake is usually the way to do it. Uh, the other theory behind who these bees are and why they're here is possibly that there were some loose bees in the, um, in, in the area around the nukes. And when they got put into the bag that I had, the mesh bag that's supposed to keep the bees in, some of those bees might not have belonged to this hive or the other hive that I got. So these could just be bees that um, know that they're not supposed to go into this hive because it belo doesn't belong to them. But I find that this is kind of a lot of bees, so let's go take a look at it. All right, so I am suited up. It's now time to work with the bees. I think this is going to be a fairly quick procedure, so I'm not going to use any smoke. Uh, but I've got my bee tool, and um, let's go check out that hive real quick. So this is the setup for my swarm box. Basically, it's just a shelf that we built and we can put different boxes and things up there. Now you can see right now there's bees coming to this nest, this, this beard, whatever it is. I'm gonna go under. Cluster, good one. Okay, now see this? I see bees coming toward it, but I don't really see bees leaving. You know what I'm saying? I do. I see bees coming, but not leaving. So the first thing I'm going to do before I pick this box up is I'm going to go over and I'm going to open up the top of my hive. Um, so here's our main hive. And there's definitely bees going inside of it. I don't like the reduced vision. What do you mean? With the it's the not video? good for someone with my eyesight. Yeah. All right. It's not easy to focus on things. Right. Okay. So we've got a few bees on our top cover. I'm looking down in, and there's a spider in here. I'm killing bees. I need to get that fucking spider out, don't I? Use the rain. Hmm? Could use the rain. Yeah. 
He just got a little agitated. Yeah. Fix that later. Yeah. Yeah. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take out frames from the side. That's a nice, good amount of room there. Let me show you what we're looking at. So it's good that we see a lot of activity right now down in the hive. It means there's a lot of bees in there. So why don't you stay right here and just follow me as I me to open it. I will in one second. I'm not going to open it right here. I'm just going to tap them right in, okay? Are they in? in a sideways whack. A si yeah, there you go. Yeah. Put your top back on or just put that down. So the activity in the hive has picked up considerably since I just did that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and walk away at this point. Nate's really interested in seeing what's inside the box, and I guess so am I. But I am going to bring it away from the hive. Because I want it to be as far away from the hive as possible so they don't keep trying to return to it. And maybe after a day or two, I'll go ahead and put it out as a swarm box. Because um, I think that they would really... Uh, I think that they would probably go to something that already had their scent in it if there was going to be a swarm. However, I'm trying to prevent swarms by giving them an extra brood box on top to go ahead and build into. Um, I'm not 100% not sure that that will work, but I know that the reason that they usually um, swarm is because they need more room. What's outside in the corner they were in? More bees. What's right inside that they could have been smelling? Why wouldn't they just go in the middle? I don't know. Let me undo it maybe, right? My hive tool. There's like a thousand bees in there. in there. You can see it really good from this side. Go 
and what's right inside? Where, right here? On the other side, on the inside. Nothing. Some calm. I'm gonna give him a shake. Get him out. <laughs> All right, so I guess we are going to keep you updated on what happens with those bees. Um, the nuke box is completely empty and I just brought it inside so the bees can't go to it anymore and I'm gonna wait a few days and then I'll set it back out as a swarm box so hopefully if the queen was in that little cluster then she's back inside the hive